The stock market is a crazy place. Every second is essential, and various things happen in a split second. For expert stock market traders, these are pretty much normal. But for newbies or beginners, it is a lot different. There are a lot of things that you need to understand in investing in the stock market. You've got it wrong if you think you just need to place an order or sell, and you're done. There's a more stringent process for investing in the stock market. You don't need to worry. You're in luck. We will show you a detailed and thorough step-by-step -step guide to investing in the stock market. You will start making fortunes in no time. Welcome to Fun Rebel Channel. Today, we will talk about money and finance. And if you're new to this channel, then hit the subscribe button below for more life hack content. Step 1. Open a trading account. One would think that to trade in the stock market, you would need to go to the trading floor. Well, that is the old system. The trading floor is where the buying and selling of stocks happen. Have you seen on TV or in movies the people who are shouting and selling to buy and sell a stock? That is quite true. But that was the old system. Now the system has changed. You do not need to go on those loud trading floors. You can open an account online. Make sure you find a legitimate and trusted online broker. A good example can be Fidelity, which is widely used and famous. Try to search for other stock trading online platforms available in your country. Another requirement is that you need to be 18 years old and above. So if you're below 18 years old, ask for guidance and help from your parents or guardian. Step 2. Set aside an investing budget. Before you invest, you need to save up first. Set aside a specific amount for your savings and investment. The recommended savings allocation is between 10 to 30% of your income. Another is to also set aside the budget for investing. You can allocate at least 5 to 10% to your investment budget. Remember not to make a big investment budget yet or go all in. You are a newbie. You need to get a hold of what you are getting into. There's another reason why you should set up a separate allocation for your savings and investment, which we will discuss in the next step. Step 3. Set long-term goals. Think of what it is you want to achieve. Do you want to buy a new house or do you want to go on a vacation? It depends on you. The reason why you should have a separate allocation for savings and investments is to be able to prepare for your long-term goals. Be prepared when you are about to start investing in the stock market. You need to hold on for a long time to earn in the stock market. You cannot just pull out your investments anytime you want. If you do that, you will incur more losses than profits. The stock market is volatile. Sometimes it is at its highest and sometimes at its lowest. When you need money and your stock is at its lowest value, you are at a loss when you pull it out. That is why saving is essential. You still have money to get from in case you need it urgently or just for your long-term goals. Step 4. Diversify your portfolio. When you are at a buffet, you want to taste all the dishes, right? The reason is for you to get your money's worth. That is how diversifying your portfolio works. Do not invest your money in one stock. Divide your investment budgets toward different and multiple stocks. If, for example, you invested all your money in one stock and it crashed, then all your money is gone. It is like one hit delete. Compare that to having multiple stocks. If one or two stocks crash, you still have more stocks left. It will result in fewer losses and lesser risk. Step 5. Stocks you should invest in. You're a newbie stock trader. There is a high chance that you know little about which stock to invest in. But that shouldn't stop you from investing in the stock market. It is okay if you have no absolute knowledge of where to invest your money in. Here are some stocks that are perfect for beginners like you. 1. Stocks you believe in. If you think the stock is good or you believe in it, go for it as long as you have researched the stock. For example, you believe in technology. Technology is mainly fit for young people. If you like technology, go for technology-related stocks like Netflix, Tesla, Apple, and Samsung. Number 2. Mutual funds. If you have no time to research or do not know where to invest, go for mutual funds. Most of the time, it is managed by a fund manager. You don't have to worry about picking the stocks as the fund manager will choose them. You just need to pay the fund manager a small fee. You can see online the performance and history of the mutual fund. Number 3. Index Funds You can never go wrong with index funds. They have an excellent record and steady annual returns. It is like the counterpart of mutual funds. However, index funds have no fund manager fee. A perfect example of an index fund with a good record is the S&P 500. Number 4. Stocks with good market caps Go for stocks with medium to high market caps. They are much safer compared to low-capped stocks. 
The reason is that they are already well-established compared to low-cap stocks, which are still establishing and encountering struggles that can easily affect their stock price. Number 5. Highly volatile stocks are big no. Do not place a bet on volatile stocks yet. These stocks, like in cents, are priced low and have a soft market cap. They can be volatile because of their price. Imagine a stock turning from 2 cents to 4 cents, then your money is already doubled. However, the risk is there as well. Your money can go on a landslide quickly when it moves down even just a little. Step 6. Study when you can. The most powerful card you can have while investing is knowledge. Learn how to trade, the fundamentals of the stock market, and learn terms or definitions. Here's a trick. Focus on one industry only when you start. Let's take the example earlier where you were interested in technology. Learn about technology and the related companies, and how well their stock is doing, the trends, and their balance sheets. An hour of two of learning and researching is enough to be updated. You can also read the news for updates. Step 7. When to sell and not to sell. You check your stock and it is up by 40 to 50%. Isn't it tempting? You want to take it out already and celebrate. But that is a mistake most traders make. They become blinded by the short-term profits that they forget the long-term benefits. If the stock is doing well, just let it be there. Unless the time you sell is for this reason. The company is not doing well and is showing red flags. If you see that the company is in bad shape or its margins are getting worse, it is time to sell. Remember, you are there for the long-term benefits. If the stock and the company are doing well, keep it like that. Step 8. Do not lose hope. For the last time, we are in it for the long-term benefit. Do not lose hope and stop if you're earning little or you have losses. That is part of learning about the stock market, even if you do not have much money to invest. A small or big amount is still an investment. Make sure that you always continue and not stop. Obstacles and learning are part of the process, and that process will be a lengthy one. Again, this is Fun Rebel. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the like button, and if you want to upgrade your life from what you have to what you deserve, click the subscribe button now.